Chelsea settle for a goalless draw at Old Trafford after a resolute defensive display against Manchester United. Watch until the end of this review to hear all of my thoughts on yesterday's match. This is my review of the game which took place yesterday evening at Old Trafford in the Premier League between Manchester United and Chelsea which ended in a 0-0 draw. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this review is that firstly I'll be giving you guys the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of the match. I'll then be giving you guys my thoughts on the match itself and as always I'll be including the positives and the negatives in which I took from the match. And lastly, I'll be giving you guys my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Champions League fixture, which will be taking place next Wednesday in Russia against Krasnodar, with kickoff at 5.55pm UK time. So without further ado, let's get straight into this review. So kicking things off with the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match against Manchester United, and as always, starting off with the formation he chose. It was a 3-4-3 slash 3-4-2-1, whichever one you guys want to go with. I don't particularly mind. But in terms of the personnel he chose to start yesterday's match against Manchester United, he went with Edouard Mendy in goal. He went with a back three of Cesar Asperkata, Thiago Silva and Kurt Zuma. He went with a midfield four including the wingbacks from right to left of Rhys James, Jorginho, N'Golo Kante and Ben Chilwell, with a front three from right to left of Kai Havertz, Timo Werner, and Christian Pulisic. Now, in my reaction video yesterday evening, I did say that um, Christian Pulisic and Kai Havertz were playing as number 10s, and I'm not so sure they were. But yes, that is the lineup that Frank Lampard fielded at the start of yesterday's match against Manchester United. Now for my thoughts on the match itself, and as always, starting off, with the first half. <sighs> I'm going to be honest with you guys, um, both sides um, just set out to defend, but I do think that Chelsea were the better of the two sides in the early exchanges, as they limited the amount of chances in which Manchester United were able to create, and we were hitting them on some dangerous counter-attacks of our own, which was good to see, however we weren't able to create too many chances ourselves, but um, I'm glad to say that we were resolute defensively for the majority of the half. Um, as the half went on, Manchester United did start to put a bit of pressure on us and we were giving away a few cheap set pieces, particularly corners, but luckily we were we were um, defending them really well and getting getting sorry. Luckily we were defending them really well and getting um, getting the ball out of the danger area with relative ease, I must say. But yes, um, the one big problem that we had in the first half was the lack of um, chance creation. But the best chance in which we did create, create oh guys, I'm sorry for my speech. The best chance in which we did create came through Christian Pulisic, who got through their defence down our left hand side and pulled off a shot, which he did fire straight at David de Gea, and he probably should have done better. But it was our best chance in the first half. We didn't really create um, any other chances in the first half or any other clear cut chances in the first half. And I think that was our only shot on target. I think that was our only shot on target throughout the whole game, which um, I'll get onto in a second. But uh, Manchester United did have a guilt edge chance through Marcus Rashford after um, Ben Chilwell gave the ball away in the middle of the park, and there were gaps in between um, the channel. I mean, the gap. There were gaps in our um, back three or our back five, whichever whichever one you guys want to go with. I think there were gaps in our back three, and Bruno Fernandez slotted a ball through to Marcus Rashford. And Edouard Mendy came off his line to limit the amount of space in which Marcus Rashford had and he blocked um, the shot and stopped it from going in. To be honest, Marcus Rashford should have done a lot better from, from that position, but you have to give Edouard Mendy a lot of credit for that save he made. Um, Edouard Mendy did make the only... only um, let me start again. Edouard Mendy did 
come close to putting the ball into the back of his own net after he tried to pass it to, um, was it Thiago Silva? It was either Thiago Silva or Aspilicueta, one of the two, one of our back, one of our um, back three. But um, he almost passed it into his own net, and he and he put it out for a corner, thankfully. But um, it it was that was strange to see. I mean, I was quite confused when that happened. But um, Manchester United did um, have the better of the last um, or latter stages of the first half. However, I did think that Chelsea were the better side in the in the first half overall, particularly in the defensive third. But um, yeah, like I said, overall, I think. We were the better team in the first half. That is debatable. I've seen many people say that it was a pretty even first half. I, I do agree with that. But I just think that Chelsea slightly edged it. Um, but yes, that's it for my thoughts on the first half. Now for my thoughts on the second half. Oh God. Um, Manchester United, they really turned it on at the start of the second half. And they could have caused us all sorts of problems. Um, I mean, not, let me start that again. They could have, they could have scored... Um, early on in the second half I mean um, Edinson Cavani came on early on in the second half and so did Paul Pogba um, they had a corner which was whipped in um, we defended it and then the ball came back into the box and Edinson, Edinson Cavani tried to flick it into the bottom left corner on his side with his um, with his weaker right foot I think he's left footed but he, he um, tried to flick it into the bottom left corner with his right foot and Edouard Mendy um, he he would he probably would have had it covered, but it did go out um, for a goal kick. It hit the side netting, but that was a good chance for them. Um, they did create some some more decent chances um, later on in the second half. We just continued to defend and tried to hit them on the counter attack. However, we we were eventually getting deeper and deeper, and we were struggling to get the ball out of our own box, which uh, made me think that Manchester United were going to score sooner rather than later. Or, or, or they're just going to score shall I just say but um, honestly guys um, in the second half overall I don't think we did anywhere near enough attacking um, we could have done so much more offensively in the second half however defensively we were resolute and I'm happy to say that and I think that Frank Lampard played um, I think Frank Lampard set up um, in the way he did to stop Manchester United from getting through and you have to give him credit for doing so. However, you you have to um, question you have to question why he why he chose to um, limit the amount of. Uh, honestly, guys, I'm I'm so frustrated because um, we could have done so much more, and I I felt as though Manchester United were there for the taking. I don't know about you guys, but I felt as though they were there for the taking. Um, but you have to give them credit as well. But honestly, guys. We, we, we could have, if not should have done more against this Manchester United team, uh, especially when you consider the fact that we were particularly slow on the ball in the attacking third in the second half of yesterday's match. I felt as though we could have had more chances to get into the box and pull off shots if we were quicker on the ball in the final third, because that was one thing that I, I felt we lacked yesterday. But overall, um, Manchester United, did, they did give us quite a few problems. Uh, Marcus Rashford did have another glorious chance in the second half from outside the box and Edouard Mendy did pull off a world-class save and that's exactly why he was brought in um, but other than that they didn't really create too much um, Thiago Silva for me had a great game I think our, our whole back five had a great game I do think that overall um, you can say that a draw is a fair result but both sides probably could have done more if not should have done more especially when you consider the size of this game and, and the history that comes with this game. But yes, overall, um, draws a fair result in my opinion, but I would have liked to see us do more from an offensive point of view. But now for the positives and the negatives in which I took from yesterday's match, I've kind of touched on the only positive in which I took from yesterday's match, and that is the fact that it was an excellent defensive performance from us. Um, I think everyone in um, our back five or back three had a good game. Um, I think Thiago Silva was the best player on the pitch. Um, Rhys James also had a really good game. I think those two were the best players on the pitch, in my opinion. Um, Rhys James did really well against Daniel James. He didn't, he didn't really give him too much space, which was great to see. But yes, um, it was an excellent defensive performance, and that is the only positive in which I took from yesterday's match. 
um, there are two negatives in which I took from yesterday's match. And the first negative in which I took from yesterday's match is the fact that we were not able to create too many chances. And like I've said already, that is due to the fact that we were pretty slow in the final third, especially in the second half. Um, that is credit to Manchester United, though I thought Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof had very good games. Um, and it's, you, you have to give them credit because, um, especially Maguire, by the way, he's been under a lot of scrutiny recently. And he put in a good performance, in my opinion. But yeah, we weren't able to create too many chances. And I felt as though we could have moved the ball a lot quicker. We could have had more um, runners from midfield. Or just more runners in general. But um, yeah, we weren't able to create too many chances. And the second negative in which I took from yesterday's match is the fact that we lacked drive in the middle of the park. And that is exactly why I wanted Mateo Kovacic to start. Because he, he can provide that. Um, but a draw's a draw. Um, if you can't win a game, then don't lose it, which is exactly what we did. But um, we need to start winning games very soon because um, this will put pressure on Frank Lampard. Um, if he if he doesn't if Frank Lampard doesn't get wins very soon in the Premier League or in general, then um, it will put pressure on him, and and we don't want that to happen as Chelsea fans. But yes, that is it for the positives and the negatives in which I took from yesterday's match, and that is it for the ma oh, That is it for my thoughts on the match itself. Sorry guys, I'm really frustrated, but please do let me know what your thoughts on the match are in the comment section below, and as always guys, I will do my very best to respond. Now to conclude this review, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on Chelsea's upcoming Champions League group stage match, which will be taking place next Wednesday in Russia against Krasnodar, with kickoff at 5.55pm UK time. Honestly guys, we should be winning. Um, this will not be an easy game though because of course no Champions League game is easy. It will be interesting to see what formation um, Frank Lampard chooses for this game. Um, and it will also be interesting to see who Frank Lampard picks against FC, against FC Krasnodar on Wednesday. Sorry for my speech there. But um, honestly guys, I do think that we should be winning. I do think it's about, I do think it's about time we started winning games again. Um, because we haven't won since our game against Crystal Palace where we of course beat them by four goals to nil but hopefully we get the win on Wednesday and hopefully a win on Wednesday is the start of a winning streak but let's just hope that happens um, I'm not um, gonna lie I don't know all too much about FC Krasnodar but I will do my research before I do my preview so stay tuned for that um, that is it for this review I hope you enjoyed it guys I am I'm still so frustrated because the record keeps it's just going to keep going on at this rate. But yes, that is it for this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new and I will see you all very soon for some more videos. Come on you blues, come on Frank Lampard and peace.